How many times have you seen this? Someone putting in hours of sweat and hard work to build their best physique following a super strict, super low calorie meal plan all to build their bikini physique. And still, even after all of that work, all of that effort, they're not seeing the results they want to see. What is going on? What the heck? What freaking gives? Following a cookie cutter program that has you doing more and more in the gym, doing more and more cardio and eating fewer and fewer calories is one of the worst ways you can build your best physique. It keeps you limited. It keeps you stuck. It prevents you from seeing progress. It maybe even reverses your progress and leads to wasted time and wasted hard work. Sam here, and I help women build stage ready bikini bodies so they can compete in their competition confidently. And when your goal is to actually step on stage and feel and look like you belong there, a customized prep program is the best and smartest way to reach your bikini goals. So what is actually wrong with a cookie cutter approach? Why is that the worst way to try and get yourself to step on the bikini stage? Well, let's take a look. What is that even? What is a cookie cutter program? And generally speaking, it's just a program or process that is going to be so generalized, it could work for literally anyone. And therein lies the problem. It's going to be made to work for anyone, no matter what is unique or different about them. So let's take a look at how this would look if we were following just a general cookie cutter workout program. So we can find a workout program that is targeted, building muscle, getting stronger. And the problem with that is many are not targeted to your exact goal. There's a lack of focus. It's going to just be generally someone that wants to get bigger, build some muscle, tone up, sculpt a bit. And it's also going to ignore your current fitness levels. What might be a great starting plan for somebody could be way too advanced or not advanced enough for somebody else. And then there's going to be no consideration to your actual lifestyle. So when you think about this, is it a six day a week program? that might be impossible for someone to get. Or maybe it's a three day a week program and it's someone like, I can definitely dedicate more than three days a week to lifting so I can see faster progress. And then also it ignores any injuries, overhead pressing, maybe you can't do that. Maybe you can't do lunges. Maybe you need modifications. And it doesn't have any consideration to your what you have access for for your workout equipment. Generally, we have gym and working out at home. And there's a big variance in what you can have at home and what you can have at a gym. Generally speaking, with a bikini prep, if you're wanting to build a bikini physique, you will need either a gym membership or a very well-stocked home gym. And so we'll see a lot of um, programs that are like build a great physique or sculpt a tone fit physique all just at home with things you have, which sounds good because that's what is going to maybe work for general population, but it's not really targeted to building a bikini ready physique. Now, whole other world is looking at the nutrition aspect. And this is where we can see really, really big discrepancies and differences between individuals. Now, oftentimes targets or calorie targets are gonna be ridiculously low. And that is because it needs to work for the smallest, most sedentary person that might pick up this program. So calorie targets are generally very low to begin with. And then there's also going to be possibly unnecessary food restrictions. Maybe it's gonna take out dairy or it's going to take out carbs when there's absolutely no reason to take those things out. And it's also not going to take into consideration your personal preferences. And it might make you eat foods that you know are like, oh, these are horrible. I don't want to eat that. So foods you dislike. And when we look at those reasons why the cookie cutter programs kind of suck, 
there are also consequences to having those negative aspects of a cookie cutter program. And when we look at the workouts, it can make the workouts ineffective. If they're not challenging enough, if you're more advanced, if they're too challenging, if you are more at the beginner stage, you're not quite fit enough, you aren't going to be able to do the workouts how they are supposed to be programmed and you're not gonna get the benefits. You're not gonna get the results out of those workouts or they're gonna just be generalized, targeted, and they're not going to focus on building a bikini physique, which is a specialized, really focused form of building muscle. And eventually, not eventually, essentially, that is going to just lead to wasted time and frustrations with not seeing that progress. So you're gonna do all that work, put in all that effort to not see the results that you want, to not see those benefits that you were hoping for. And then there's also the frustration of when you are working out at a gym, they don't have the right equipment that this program calls for, and you're thinking, okay, how do I substitute this? What can I do instead? And then being frustrated trying to figure that out, or not being able to figure it out and just skipping it or doing something completely different than what that program was actually trying to target with that exercise. And with cookie cutter program, you're not really gonna get any feedback on your form or if you have the right intensity in your workouts. So the ultimate big consequence of All of that is you will not get the results that you are hoping for even when you're putting in all of that work. Now, when we look at diet, these consequences can be bigger, not just not getting results, but it can be actively harming you. So when you're not eating enough, so many will start you at 14, 13, 1200 calories on those types of meal plans, cookie cutter programs, because everyone's going to lose weight at those numbers. And if you're someone that's going to lose weight at, say you were eating 1900 calories and you're eating 1300, you are going to lose weight quickly, which means a lot of that lost weight is going to come from muscle mass, which is the exact opposite of what we want to happen. And that's going to lead to suboptimal results in the end. While you might lose weight quickly, the goal of bikini is not to just lose weight as quickly as possible, it's to build a physique that is going to look like it belongs on stage, and that needs to have muscle mass. So losing a bunch of muscle is going to lead to a result that you didn't want, and that's actually going to hurt you in the long run. And then we're going to possibly create a negative relationship with food, because your calories are so low, you're absolutely starving the whole time, and you can't wait to just be able to eat because your calories are at a level that is just too low for where you're starting. And that can have a negative impact long-term on how you see dieting and how you see prepping and how you see getting in shape and getting lean, which is a whole nother can of worms. And then that can lead to a host of other things like potential hormonal issues and then also just a lot of distress around cravings and just stressing about food all the time. So what are some other things that can happen that we're really thinking specific to bikini? Say you get a cookie cutter program and just just something that's shoved in front of you, say from either a program that you purchase online or from a, maybe from even a coach. What else could happen? Oftentimes in bikini, not often, I'll take that back. Sometimes PEDs, steroids are pushed on new competitors and when they don't know what they are and they're just gonna follow what is being said, this can be detrimental. There is absolutely no reason you need to take PEDs or steroids to be successful in bikini and have a great time doing your prep and looking amazing on stage. And so we we want to make sure that that's not happening and that can happen if it's just kind of like shoving a whole bunch of programs out there, not taking the person into consideration on who they are, what they value, and what they really prioritize in their journey to stepping on stage. So I wanna talk about a better way. Now, the generalized one size fits all type of eating recommendations and fitness recommendations are totally fine, 
usually, if your goal is to just eat a little bit healthier and be a little bit fitter. That's totally fine. Just some generic workout and some general healthy eating tips and guidelines are totally fine if your goal is to just be a little healthier, be a little fitter. It's going to work. Goals are unspecific. The method to reaching those unspecific goals can be a little unspecific. But a cookie cutter program that is specific in its goal but not specific to you is where we run into problems. Like what I talked about with those programs that have really low calories because the goal is to get you to lose weight and get shredded. It's a very specific goal, get shreddy. And they need to make sure that they can get that goal accomplished for everybody. So what they do is take the most extreme approach so they can guarantee those results no matter who is following that program. And like I mentioned, this can have numerous drawbacks. And this is where personalized, customized programming reigns supreme. When you think about custom workouts, custom programming, custom diet, we can really look at the individual as a person, as themselves. So when we think of workouts, we can really target them to their specific goals and anything that they really need to specifically work on. And we also take with a personalized program, you take in starting fitness level. So a lot of people might think, I can't start this yet because I'm not in shape enough. Where with personalized progr programming, we start where you're at now. What gets adjusted is the timeline. So with that custom programming, that personalized programming, we start where you're at now and we do take that starting fitness into consideration. And then it's also adaptable to your life. Like, hey, I can work out four days a week. That's gonna be great. I can do this. Maybe you need an adjustment down the road because you're going on a trip. Like, hey, can we make this change? And that's where that nice custom programming can come in with your workouts. And when it comes to diet, this is a big one. Going to have calories and macro targets that are unique to you because everybody is so different it's there's obviously averages and like this person falls right in the middle but there's people that are going to be on both ends of the spectrum and with the custom dieting custom programming when it comes to your nutrition it's going to take you into account it's going to also take your food preferences into account and how you like to eat it's not going to be you have to eat six small meals a day it can be like do you prefer to eat small meals or do you want like three big meals can take a look at everything and how it impacts you and really what your preferences are making your dieting much more enjoyable and much more sustainable. Personalized programming, the benefits of this are, it just, it gives you greater control over your outcomes and your results, while also giving you that flexibility to adjust as needed as you go, which is an important part of prepping for a show, is that you adjust to how your body is responding, not to some pre-designed, this is what we're gonna do 12 weeks from now. You shouldn't know that. You don't know what's going to be happening with your body and there are changes every single week that do need to be taken into consideration and adjustments may or may not need to be made on a weekly, monthly basis. And this leads to more effective workouts, more effective dieting, so more results, the results that you really want, better for your overall health and better for your overall really comfort in your prep and dieting experience. Okay, so let's talk about how this looks like in action. All right, so client A, eating 2000 calories is losing weight. Client B, eating 2000 calories would be gaining weight weight. So if we put these two people on the exact same program for nutrition, what would happen is client A would be eating calories that are way too low and they'd be losing weight extremely fast, which means they'd be losing muscle, they'd be hungry, and it just would not be a very enjoyable experience. Or client B would be eating more calories than they need and they'd be gaining weight and neither of them would be super thrilled with their results. Same with workouts. So client A is doing three lifts per week and three cardio sessions per week at about 30 minutes. And they're seeing amazing progress. They're down about 20 pounds. 
Client B is lifting four times a week with three cardio sessions at about 20 minutes, and they've seen amazing progress as well with about 10 pounds in six weeks. So what this means is we can't have client A, client B doing the exact same thing because they would see wildly different results if they were following the same cookie cutter program and they would be subpar results, results they don't even want. And I've actually been there myself. So I started a program back with my first few preps and looking back, pretty sure it was fairly cookie cutter. I don't know if it was just, this is what I give people all the time, but it started me out at about 1600 calories and it cut out all dairy. There's absolutely no reason to cut out dairy. I love any cow product that there is. Milk, cheese, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt. I love it all. And none of it has any adverse effects. So there was absolutely no reason to cut that out for me personally. And the 1600 calories, my most recent prep, I started my diet at 2100 calories. So needless to say, that prep, I felt like crap. I hated it. I hated the dieting. I was just like, this is hard. And the only thing I could think about was how much I wanted to be done and be able to eat my post-show meal. I was looking forward to that more than I was actually looking forward to the show. So that's just, that's sucky, honestly. And so fast forward this past, this past prep. So a couple years ago, my most recent prep, um, I brought my best physique to stage and I was eating cottage cheese. I was eating Greek yogurt. I was having Velveeta and I was eating that 2,100 calories at the start. We did adjust as we went and I got down to, I got down to 16, but we bumped it back up to 18. So there was some variation there, but my other one, we started at 16 and had to keep getting lower. So with this last one, I wasn't nearly as food focused. I felt pretty good most of my prep. There's always gonna be some hard days, of course. And I was actually looking forward to the show rather than my food that I could eat after the show. I actually went back to the hotel room, didn't even go out, had popcorn and turkey sandwich and went to bed to go out for breakfast the next day. But still, I didn't, I wasn't so focused on just eating food after the show that that's all I could think about. And that is the difference between the results that you get from cookie cutter, people aren't really taking you into consideration versus, okay, let's actually make this individual to you and really make this prep all about you and how your body is going to respond. So this is what I like. This is just, we want to look at current fitness, what your life is like and what your specific goals are. And then who you are like as a person physically and, you know, just in life. All of that matters. We look, you need to look at your dieting history. You need to look at your workout history. You need to look at your cardio history. You need to look at all of those things and they all need to be taken into consideration. And then adjustments need to be made based on how your body is responding, not some pre-written, this is the steps we're gonna follow for sure. Because you don't know. You just, every everybody is different and really even for an individual, each prep is going to be different. So you couldn't do one prep and then copy and paste for your next one. It's not going to go the same way, even if, even if that would be super nice. So taking the time to really figure out where you're at right now, where you're starting is going to be a game changer when it comes to having a successful prep and being successful in building that stage ready physique. The goal is to work smarter and more efficiently, not just to work harder because working harder doesn't always equal better results. If you are thinking about stepping on stage, if you are thinking about, you know what, I wanna build the best physique I've ever had, take the time to have a personalized program thought out and follow that. That way you can actually see the best results in the shortest amount of time possible. And that's actually going to get you those, what you truly want is your best physique on stage and really looking and feeling like you belong up there. 
All right, that is all for today and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.